Hey guys, welcome to the Massive Iron Channel. I'm Steve Shaw. In this video, I'm going to show you five ways to tell if your workout program sucks. Before I get into that topic, if you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. The best topic ideas I turn into videos just like this. Check out the new Massive Iron Flag right in my squat rack. If you want one, check out the link down below. All right. What you know what? If you put one of these suckers in your home gym, you're going to get extra PR power. All right. Five ways to tell if your workout program sucks. Some of you get this, okay? But the rest of you need to understand that when it comes to getting the most uh, out of your workout program, strength muscle building, you have to focus, focus, focus. Everything needs a purpose. So here we are. Five ways to tell if your workout program sucks. Number one, you have no idea of the exact weight or the reps you lift, list, uh, lifted last time you're in the gym. You wander in the gym, you, you don't have a clue what the weight was or the exact reps. You might know you benched 225, but what were the reps? What were the reps? If you do not know what the reps were that you used last time, you're, you've put yourself in a hole. The whole point of getting into the gym is to make progress, progressive overload. If you have no clue what you did last time, if you can't pull up an app, if you can't pull out your notebook, it really uh, it really shines a light on the fact that you are not focused. You are you probably don't have a progression approach if you don't have a clue what you did the next time. All right, number two, I got my handy little handy dandy little cheat sheet. You have no idea what exercises. Uh, or sets you're going to do today. You're just kind of walking into the gym. You have you walk into the gym. You have no idea. I don't know what I'm going to do today. I might do this exercise. I might do this set and rep scheme. I might do a three by eight. I might do this set or the other thing. That's okay if you're trying to maintain mass. If you're somebody that's been training, it's close to their natural potential. You you spent years lifting. You're as big and as strong as you can possibly ever get. It's okay to fuck around or have fuck around itis. But <clears throat> for the rest of us, if you don't have a plan going into the gym, there's no focus. And again, no focus usually means no progressive overload. You can kind of try to push those sets as strong as you can get them for the day, but you really need to have a plan. All right, number three, you aren't leading off with at least two big hitting exercises, at least two two big hitting exercises. That should be the bread and butter of your program. Those should be the lead off hitters. Squats and bench if you're doing an upper lower or a full body or whatever. If you're doing a bro split, maybe it's um, deadlifts and dumbbell rows. Or for chest, maybe it's bench press and dips. But you need to have at least two big hitters starting off your program. If not, you have to ask yourself, what the fuck am I doing in the gym? All right, the fourth way to tell if your workout program sucks, you test your one rep maxes every time you feel like it. This is not the way it works. Strength building is built with reps, with volume. If you want to test your one rep max, there has to be a strategy. In the powerlifting world, we call that a peaking plan or a peaking program. Now, do you need an extended peaking program to test your one rep max? Well, on things like the bench press, probably not, right? But on squats and deadlifts, it's probably beneficial. A peaking program can generally be as short as four weeks or as long as 12 weeks. So, don't just go into the gym and say, I feel good today. I'm going to test my, my one rep max. That's a good way to get injured. Frequently testing your one rep max is a great way to get injured. If you want to test it, it's best to plan it out and have some sort of a peak, even if it's a minimal peak. And I have a, I have a peaking PDF. If you want to check out how to peak, I'm going to drop that down below as well. All right. The fifth way to tell if your workout routine suck, you have no structure. You just wing it and then <laughs> you, you have, excuse me, let me backtrack. You have no schedule structure. Like you just walk in and work whatever body parts you want each day. We've talked about not having a clue what exercises you're going to do. You know, we've talked about having, a, having no clue what, um, what your set and rep scheme uh, what, or what your reps were and your weight were last time. But if you walk into the gym and you're like, 
hey, I think I'm going to work chess today. When did I work chess? I don't know. I can't recall when I worked chess last. Um, that is a recipe for failure. And all these points, all these points are trying to get you to focus, focus, focus. You do not go into the gym and fuck around. The gym is for training. If you want the best results, everything needs a purpose. Everything needs a structure. So guys, hope this video has been of some help. If you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. If you made it this far in this video and have yet to subscribe to my channel, please do. I'd appreciate the support. So guys, as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day. And go get yourself a fucking flag. Link down below.